Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna do a snack time video. Haven't done one of those in a while. So today is Gardetto's. Quality since 1932. Uh, Pizzeria flavored, naturally flavored snack mix. I've had the original Gardetto's and I've had the spicy, but I've never tried the pizzeria one. And let's see, what are we working with here? We've got um, a five ounce bag or 141 grams if you're uh, more apt to the uh, metric system. I'm an imperial guy myself, but hey, that's just me. And I believe it's 140 calories per serving, 0.5 saturated fat, 320 milligrams of sodium, and one gram of total sugars. And if you'd like to pause it and read um, all this interesting um, nutritional information, you can. So there's 4.5 calories per container, calories 140. I'll probably eat about half of this bag, maybe two thirds of it or so. I'll, I'll have enough left over for later, but I'm actually having this uh, with, with my dinner, which is going to be hot dogs. And the, tra the tradition started in the Gardetto's Bakery, founded in 1932, which was, wow, in the depths of the Depression, where John Gardetto Sr. trimmed breadstick ends to the perfect length, and Judy Gardetto added other tasty snack bits and her own blend of special seasonings, creating a crowd favorite snack mix. Today our recipe is based on the signature Gardetto family recipe and tossed with uh, unique crunchy pieces if you love to create a delicious snack that's been crafted with uh, tradition well all right and then here's your um, all your information right here and again um, I'm pretty sure this is not part of a delicious uh, nutritious breakfast or however that goes So here they are right here. I poured them into a bowl so you could kind of see them. You've got pieces of bread, little bread pieces right here. I wish there was a little bit more of those. Pretzel. And then um, kind of breadsticks. And then you've got other pretzels too. You've got the, um, the, curl, the curly Q ones and then, or traditional ones, and then just the uh, long ones. So, let's, let's give these puppies a try. Mmm. Yeah, I, I, can I can taste the pizza flavoring. It's got a got a decent taste it's not bad um, definitely can taste the pizza flavor but it's not overpowering let's um, go for one of these I really like the crunch to that that really has a nice crunch then So let's get a little, as much as I can, so I don't, I don't choke myself, a handful of everything. So, bottom line is, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, these are pretty good. I don't like them as much as the original or the hot and spicy. But the flavor is pleasant enough. It's got kind of a nice pizza taste to it. A little bit of crunch going on. I wish there was uh, a few more of these in here. I poured about a little less than half the bag into the bowl here. But I wish I wish they would have thrown some more of these in. And maybe... And, 
a lot of the pretzels seemed, it's good, don't get me wrong, but they definitely use that as more filler. But pretty good snack. Um, I think I'm going to stick to the original myself, but it was, at the same time, it was kind of cool trying something different. But if you guys want to try this, go right ahead and tell me what you think. If somebody gave me a bag of this, would I eat it? Of course. Yeah, sure. Why not? But if given the choice, I would buy the original. Um, but that's just me. So, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your day.